In recent years, women's golf has been dominated by players from Asia. The past four year-ending world number ones hail from the continent, and last year all but one of the five LPGA majors were won by Asian-born golfers. And in Ya Chun Chang, Asia may have unearthed another star. The 15-year-old from Taiwan or Chinese Taipei has already participated in eight professional events and is currently ranked in the top 50 of the women's amateur rankings, despite being considerably younger than most of the competition. Ya Chun's graceful swing, composure and dogged resilience have many in the golfing world excited about her future. I started playing golf when I was very little. I remember watching some golf tournaments on television. I would watch those tournaments and think that it looked very artistic, just the way the players swung at the balls. I really wanted to try it too, so I did, and I grew more and more passionate about it. I love every aspect of the sport. Last August, Ya Chun relocated from Taiwan to America to enroll at Florida's IMG Academy. She's continued her progression here and put in some strong performances in the tournaments that she has since taken part in. In October, she competed at the Fubon LPGA Taiwan Championship. She was the only home golfer to finish under par after the first two rounds and ended up placing a respectable 46th behind many established names. The teenager subsequently went on to win the Golf Week Invitational. Luke Cantello is Ya Chun's coach. She gets it, you know, she has, a, she has an incredibly good golfing brain, so she is very creative and hits different shapes and different heights. You know, Taiwan's a very windy place, so uh, she's grown up in, a, in a, an environment that's really great for golf because it challenges her, but certainly little bits and pieces with her chipping is, is kind of what we've, we've talked about and certainly we work on. I enjoy training here a lot. The methods are different to what I'm used to, but the training environment here is really nice. It just makes you want to practice more. Taiwan is a small country, so naturally we don't have as much training space. The grass here is different from in Taiwan too. The course here is similar to the ones used on the LPGA, so I just want to go out and practice all the time. The IMG Academy has its origins in a tennis academy set up by renowned coach Nick Volateri in 1978. It has since branched out into other sports such as golf, baseball and American football. The students here are placed on holistic programs, featuring bespoke golf coaching, fitness sessions and the small matter of academics. The Academy's Director of Golf is Neil Coulson. She'll do a lot of time on the range, she spends a lot of time chipping and putting, so it's half day sport and half day school for her. We get out to the golf courses, we have a number of golf courses we use locally, um, including our own, which is uh, just off campus. So she spends a lot of time doing the training uh, in her golfing ability, but also during the week she'll spend a lot of time with the physical conditioning coaches. Uh, we do nutrition, we do mental conditioning as well, all aimed at trying to develop her and help her progress through her golf game. Golf has recently boomed in Yachun's homeland of Taiwan, thanks largely to the success of her 27-year-old compatriot, Yani Tseng. Since turning professional in 2007, Yanni has clinched 15 LPGA titles and topped the world rankings. She's the youngest player ever, male or female, to win five major championships and is someone who Ya Chun looks up to. Yanni Seng has been the world number one. So people in Taiwan are now very interested in golf and want to be like her. They too believe they can be number one in the world. She is a very strong player and can hit a golf ball really far. She is very impressive, the way she is so focused. So I think I can learn from her and the way she puts such a great distance in with her driver. 
Ya Chun is a dedicated student of the game and spends many hours studying great players. She trains regimentally, whether on the course or in the gym. Such is her determination to emulate the likes of Yanni Seng and turn professional. Along with being highly skilled with the golf club, the 15-year-old also has a very calm temperament on the green. She regularly attends yoga sessions to relax and channel positive thinking, key elements to being successful in her sport. I think I'm mentally strong. Sometimes, when a player performs badly, they'll throw their club or blurt out swear words or cause damage to the field. But I don't ever do that. Because if you lose your temper, your mood will be affected on all of the holes you play afterwards. Away from her sport, Ya Chun enjoys playing the piano. She started when she was seven years old. Much like yoga, it's the palliative nature of the instrument that really appeals to her. You know, when you play sport, sometimes there are a lot of pressures. I like to play the piano for a bit to relax myself and relieve some of the pressures so I can be less stressed and calmer. Also, playing the piano helps to stimulate your mind and helps keep you fresh and calm. With her cool demeanour and aptitude on the greens, Ya Chun seems well equipped in her bid to make it to the LPGA Tour. There's a real sense of excitement at the IMG Academy that, if she continues her progression, she can reach the very pinnacle of the sport. She can go a long way. I mean, there's no doubt about it. She has the talent to do it. Uh, we have the setup here to help her do it. She's going to develop over the next uh, 12, 18 months or so, continue to develop physically as well as her golf game and mentally. Um, but ultimately, you know, the, the sky's the limit for the girl. She really has got a, a lot of talent and could go a long way. I want to play at the highest level and I want to become the world number one. But most importantly, I want to retain my morals. When people hear my name or get asked, what is she like? I want them to say she is a nice, good person, something like that.